If you want to import a multi-layer sample into the DTX Pro X, you need to have all the samples available before you start. I've done another video to show you how you can use a VSTi for this, but for this video, I'll assume that you have all the separate samples already. To create a fully loaded multi-layer sample, you'll need 120 samples. This would be 40 head samples, 40 rim shot samples, and 40 cross stick samples. But realistically, it might not be necessary to have 40 cross stick samples, but you can if you need to. You need to make sure that all your samples are edited correctly. You need each sample to start right at the start of each file, and you want to remove any empty space at the end of each sample so you aren't wasting the module's sample time. This takes a bit of time, but it makes the final results much better. For this example, I'm going to load and build a snare drum. So let's assume that you have all your head samples in one folder, all your rimshot samples in another folder, and all your cross stick samples in yet another folder. The module can make 10 dynamic samples, from quiet to loud, into one user voice in Yamaha speak. This means that if you load in a single user voice onto a pad zone, the module will choose the sample inside that user voice that is closest to the dynamic you have played and will play that sound. However, you'll soon notice that the same sounds are repeating, as it is just one sound per dynamic layer. To get around this, the module can alternate up to four user voices, called A, B, C, and D, using the ALT or alternate mode. This means that the first sample will be chosen from user voice A, the second from user voice B, and so on. So the same sample is never repeated twice in a row. This makes the final sound much more realistic. So say I have 40 head samples, from quiet to loud, and I have named them 0, 1 to 40. 0, 1 is the quietest, and 40 is the loudest. I share the samples between four files, named A, B, C, and D, so that each file gets an even number of samples from quiet to loud. So for example, sample 0, 1 goes into file A, sample 0, 2 goes into file B, sample 03 goes into file C, sample 04 goes into file D, sample 5 goes into file A, and so on, until each file has 10 samples in it. Each file, A, B, C, and D, will make one user voice. Each zone of the pad will have four user voices. You need to rename the samples so firstly the module knows where to put them, and secondly so you know what they are and can find them later when you are putting everything together. So what I do, and it's not the only way, but it's the way I find quickest now, is to name the samples with the name of the instrument in a few letters, the articulation, the user voice, A, B, C, or D, and the sample from 0, 1 to 10. If you have all 10 samples in the same folder, you can easily rename them all in one go. It is important to name the samples 0, 1 rather than just 1, as if you do not, the module may put your louder sample, 10, in the quietest position because it thinks it's actually 1. So now you have your 10 head samples, put them on a pen drive. You are importing 10 specific samples to 10 specific locations. And even though it's done automatically, I would suggest using a clean pen drive with no other samples on it. You don't want to find a random sample of a doorbell or a ringtone in the middle of your nice new snare drum sample. Insert the pen drive with your 10 samples, correctly named and trimmed, into the module. Go to Menu. Job, User Voice, Import All. Then press F1, Import Type, until it says To One Voice. Then turn the knob or use the buttons to select which user voice should be used for your samples. To make sure you don't replace anything that you are using, make sure that the screen says Empty Voice. Make a note of which user voice you are using so you can find it quickly later. Using this method will import all 10 samples to one user voice 
and automatically adjust the velocity range for each sample so they are evenly spread from quiet to loud. Press F3, import, and the samples will be brought into the module. Let's check that the 10 samples have loaded correctly and that you've got the names correct. Go to a kit by pressing exit until you get back to the main screen. Go to the snare pad and hit the head. Go to menu, kit edit, voice. Under category, choose user at the far right end. Choose the location of where you've just loaded your samples. Play the head of the pad from quiet to loud, and you should hear all your 10 samples in the user voice. Now you need to repeat what you have just done for user voices B, C, and D of the snare head, but also prepare and load in the samples for user voices A, B, C, and D on the rim shot and cross stick sounds too. That will be 11 more user voices. Then you load each group of 10 samples into an empty user voice, exactly as we did earlier, until you have user voices loaded with all 120 samples. You already have your first user voice on the snare head from when you checked it earlier. So go to Menu, Kit Edit, Voice, and hit the head. Now press TRG, F3, and press Layer, F1, to select Layer B. Without hitting the pad, press exit, change category to user and voice number to where you have put your snare head user voice B voices. You have now added layer B, the second round robin or repeating sample onto your snare head. Now press TRG, F3, and press Layer, F1, to select Layer C. Without hitting the pad, press Exit, change Category to User and Voice Number to where you have put your Snare Head User Voice C voices. And now you have added Layer C, the third round robin or repeating sample, onto your Snare Head. Now press TRG, F3, and press Layer, F1, to select Layer D. Without hitting the pad, Press Exit, change Category to User and Voice Number to where you have put your Snare Head User Voice D voices. You have now added Layer D, the fourth round robin or repeating sample, onto your Snare Head. Then press the middle button, F2, and scroll down until you see Voice Layer Switch and change this to Alt or Alternate if it doesn't already. You have now put all 40 samples onto the snare head. Give it a try and make sure everything is sounding correct. You now need to repeat this for layers A, B, C and D on the rim and cross stick exactly as you did for your snare head. You might notice that your lovely new sample voice feels a bit different from the internal voices and with good reason. Unless you happen to record your new samples in exactly the same way as Yamaha recorded the internal samples, they will have a different velocity curve. Because of this, you might, but not always, need to change the velocity curve of the snare pad when using your new voice. Or you can change the curve internally. On the DTX Pro X, it is easy to create a new trigger setting for the snare pad when using your new voice, and then getting the module to select that trigger setting whenever you select a kit that uses your new voice. Firstly, select a kit that uses your new voice and go to Trigger by turning the Mode Select knob. Press Setting F3 and go to Curve. Try a different velocity curve to see if that helps. It usually does.
you might need to increase the lower dynamics to compensate as well. So go to pad type and increase minimum velocity to increase the lower end volume until it feels right. When you get a trigger setting you are happy with, press store and choose a trigger location and name it so you can recognize it quickly. To make the module always select the correct trigger setting when you use a kit which uses your new user voice, do this. Go back to Kit, press Menu, Kit Edit, Other, Trigger Setup Link. Choose the trigger setting you want with this kit and save the kit. Now, whenever you choose this kit, the module will select the correct trigger setting so your snare will have the correct dynamics. This method is a bit fiddly, but it's very flexible and very accurate. And when you find the settings which suit you, you can duplicate them in the future for all other samples you import. Go to Menu, Job, user voice, voice edit, and select the first voice that you want to change the dynamics of. Press bank, F1, and then function, F2, and then press F2 until low high is highlighted. Now you can adjust the velocity range of each sample inside the user voice to suit you. You can nudge samples up and down until they feel right when you play from quiet to loud. The only two things to make certain of is that firstly, every velocity level from 1 to 127 has a sample assigned to it, so you don't have silent holes in the user voice, and secondly, make sure that only one sample is playing at a time that there is no overlap. Otherwise, you'll have two sounds playing at some velocities, which will sound strange. When you have made your changes and are happy with the playing response, press exit and all your changes will be saved. You have now built your custom multi-layer sample using 120 individual samples.